Need more academic vocabulary? Learn the academic word list with us! These words are the most common words used in university in most majors. Let's learn the first five words. Sector. Sector has two syllables. Sector. Emphasis on the first syllable. Sector. 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 Sector means a separate area. Here's a circle. In this circle are separate sectors. But, uh, how would I use this, Lauren? Well, you can use it for business and the economy. Okay, uh, but how? Well, for example, the economy is divided into three sectors. Manufacturing, raw materials, and services. Okay, I get it. We work in the service sector because we are teachers. Uh-huh, that's right. Available. Available has four syllables. a ve la bull Emphasis is on the second syllable. Available. Available. Available is an adjective. It means to be free or able to be used. Hi, Professor Mayundo. Hello. Um, I'm really confused about the lecture today. Can I ask you some questions about it? No problem. It is a tough subject, but I'm busy now. I'm available after 3 p.m. Can you come to my office? Oh, great. I'm available then too, so I'll see you this afternoon. Is this seat available? Yeah, sure. The chair that Lauren wants to sit in is empty. So we can say this sentence. The chair across from Jeff is available. Now Lauren has a great place to sit. In this scene, Jeff is just relaxing, enjoying his coffee. So he may be available for a conversation with Lauren. Financial. Financial has three syllables. Financial. Emphasis on the second syllable. Financial. Financial. Financial is an adjective. That means it describes something. In this case, financial is used to describe something that is about money. research paper. So, our example sentence is, Lauren is reading a financial book. Bonus sentence, my father works in the financial sector of the company. Nice work, Im. Thanks. Individual. Individual has five syllables. Individual. The emphasis is on the third syllable. Individual. Say that with me. Individual. And there's one more thing you have to know. That the second D here is not pronounced like a D. It's pronounced like a J. Okay? So we're going to say Jew. Jew. And not do. Do. We're going to say individual. Individual. Individual can be used as an adjective or a noun. So it can describe something that's part of a group, but seen as separate and independent. For example, this painting by Theo van Rijsselberg looks like just an ordinary sunset. But if we look closer, we can see the individual dots of paint that make this picture. As a noun, an individual is a person, but we use this word individual to emphasize what makes that person special. M, you're looking very interesting for the beach today. 
I gotta be an individual. I can't be like everybody else. Principle. Principle has three syllables. Prin, s, pol. The emphasis is on the first syllable. Principle. Principle. Principle is a noun, and it means a rule that you follow. Sometimes it's a rule that you follow personally in your life, like this example. Mm. Mm. What are you doing? Um, you know, every time I eat salad or something healthy, I always eat a cupcake. Because with every healthy thing, you should eat an unhealthy thing. Yeah, I don't think that's a real principle. I definitely don't think it's a healthy principle to follow. Well, it's a delicious principle to follow. <laughs> but principle can also mean a rule that someone else told you to follow. For example, the principles of writing a good essay. These are rules that people told you are good to follow. Practice these vocab in the comments below, and we'll let you know if your sentence is a good one. For the next five vocab, keep watching! Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.